there are so many positive stories that are not being told. So we have to highlight these men to let the younger generation, let them see what you can become. Because the whole adage is, if you can see it, you can be it. My name is Bilal Akram uh, of Code Media Group. I was a career firefighter. I did 33 years. And the last six and a half years, I was doing EAP work which is Employee Assistance Program. The role of an EAP professional is to counsel, to meet with uh, public safety employees. I dealt with police, fire, definitely EMS, dispatchers. And what I did was I just, I listened to them. You'd be surprised at the different stories, the different challenges that I heard. It hit me here in my heart. And then toward the end of my career, I started looking at the media landscape and realized no one is speaking to men, especially men of color, about the issues of life. I had no, no knowledge of publishing, no background in the media, but I just knew it was a need. So I stepped out on faith and created the Cold Media Group to address the issues for men of color. Hi, my name is Brad Bowling. I'm the president of Coda Magazine. Black people are very marginalized in, in, in media in general. Uh, you typically only see the negative. And so there needed to be something that reported on the positive side of us. You know, we, we'll recreate the narrative, we control the narrative, we control how we look. And so it was very important that black people report on black people. And so the magazine was born out of a need. That need has turned into a wonderful opportunity to engage people, report on the wonderful things that people are doing. And hopefully we're making a difference where somebody's inspired. The feedback we're getting is so good, it lets you know that what you're doing matters. And there's nothing like being respected and appreciated for your effort. The product of the magazine has evolved to a point this is to where we are now because of Brad's input, Brad's vision, and Brad's professionalism and his experience. If you can make the lives of black men better, we make the world better. And that is the goal of the magazine, is to make the lives of black men better. Through imagery, through content, through inspiration, if we can impact one person, we've done our job. I'm thankful and I'm really humbled that my staff is the greatest staff in the world and everyone rolls up their sleeves, everyone's opinion counts. Just because my name is at the top doesn't make me better than anyone else in the organization. Because the bottom line is to, is to produce a quality professional product, whether it's a magazine, radio show, cigars, whatever it is that we do, it has to reflect the excellence that we promote.